Hey guys, just a quick message before this video starts. Just want to give a quick shout out to the Essential New Truckers Handbook by Malcolm Green. It is a book absolutely rammed with information regarding anything HGV related. I don't care whether you're new in the industry, whether you've been in the industry for five years like myself, or whether you are an, a veteran in the HGV world and you've done more miles in reverse than I've done forward, there is something in this book that will benefit you, I absolutely promise you. It, we're talking taco rules and regulations, how to strap a load, how to hitch up to a trailer, uh, and also how to even get your HGV license in the first place. Everything that you need to know is in this book. I promise you, you won't regret it. Link is in the description down below if you are interested. The Essential New Truckers Handbook by Malcolm Green. Anyway, enjoy the video. Who says no motor vehicles? <laughs> that sign there says no motor vehicles. <laughs> everybody and welcome to my channel my name is Luke thank you very much for watching I do appreciate it how you all you all right you good nice <laughs> um, right we are in Birmingham let's get straight to the point we're in Birmingham we're delivering to a, a very little store called York supplies um, it's 10 30 in the morning at the moment uh, they didn't open until 10 a.m which is a little bit annoying because I try. I would have been able to get a bit earlier, but yeah, they uh, they don't open until about 10 a.m. Um, so and it's half past 10 now. So we're just around the corner. But looking on the map, it's very very tight to get in. So um, I've had to <laughs> I've had to make a phone call to find out the best way to get in. And he said, right, let me go and have a look at the roads because they're putting up some bollards to make it a, a low um, traffic zone area or something. And you look on Street View and it just looks like there's cars parked either side of the road. There's like 90 degree turns and all sorts. And uh, just doesn't look very HGV friendly, if I'm honest with you. So, yeah, it's going to be fun. <laughs> um, I've got a route planned to go in. It's the route that he told me to go in. But it does look tight. Um, normally, when you look at things like Google Maps or Google Earth or something like that, and it looks tight on there. Normally, it's even tighter in in person. So yes, we'll uh, we'll have to wait and see. But we're nearly there. It's just at the end of the road. Doesn't look too bad, but I'm definitely going to need to move over to the right to make the turn. I think before my, before my trailer's going to hit the sign. Sorry, I realise I'm mumming a little bit. Then uh, look, looking back on your feedback from uh, my last video, because I'm obviously still using the same setup. Um, the audio is good when I'm talking normally, but if I mumble, the audio is bad. Like, there's people congregating on that corner, my trailer is going to be right next to them if I can't get over. Right, we can get over, that's good. This is the left we need. Okay, and that was that was the, that was the good turn. <laughs> the next one is even tighter. Here's the width restriction. <laughs> it says no motor vehicles. <laughs> you crossing? No. That sign there says no motor vehicles. But this is the way he's told me to go in. Should make it. Yeah. <laughs> obviously you're allowed to go through here to obviously get to the houses and stuff I, I presume but this is the next turn I'm getting on the curb to make it I'm not going to have much of a chance take my seatbelt off because you're allowed to when doing manoeuvring that's him waiting for me Apparently, to get out of here, I'm not gonna make that. That's tight. Yeah, look 
okay, we're okay, we're okay, we're okay, we're okay. We're okay. Yeah. And to get out, we've got to reverse all the way back to the crossroads and then do a right hand turn. <laughs> this, is the, this, is, this is the best way in, apparently, and it's just here on the right. So we can get off the road a little bit. Uh, if I come in the other way, it would have been even worse. Okay, bud. Right. What's he doing now? I need to take my hoodie off because it's very hot. I've actually just been in the back of the trailer with a pump truck, helping them out. And uh, these pallets are very heavy. You will arrive at your destination at 1.55 p.m. Right, I'm waiting for him to wave. We've got to reverse back now on that road that we just come in. So once he waves at me, I can uh, go on back. So he's waving now. Oh wow, we're so much lighter already. We only took... <laughs> We only took eight pallets off, but we've been here for 35 minutes because he's using the oldest bloody forklift machine, there it is, to take it all off. And it's so slow and all manual labour, almost, <laughs> getting it all off. Right, straight back. There was a van parked on this uh, crossroads just now. Telling me to stop. Yeah, there was a van. There was a van parked there, and there was no way I was going to be able to make it with the way the van was there. Whereas at the moment, I'm going to go back as far as I can and get a left swing. Not too much to the right then. Cheers, bud. Don't slow down to look, just move. Not even indicating. She wasn't even indicating then to go right. Cheers, bud! <laughs> We're gonna hit the curb there, we've got no option. Just go nice and slow. Oh. Oh. We had no option then to uh, go over that. We took it as wide as we could. Where's this car going? Who was that honking? Was he honking at me? Mate, make up your mind, are you stop it or not? That thing with van was kind of like he stopped and he started going again. Thank you. Woo! Yes! Anyway, we're now heading to Burnley. Uh, it's 121 miles away, 2 hours and 36 minutes. We'll have to stop for a break on the way up as well. So, um, yeah. Nothing else really for me to say other than I will see you when we get there. Uh, I'm going to try and keep this vlog relatively short, as in short clips, just me arriving at destinations and stuff, rather than stopping for breaks. <laughs> so I'll see you when we're at our destination in about two and a half hours. See you in a bit. Okie dokie. You joined me quite a while longer. Um, I'm 
which one have we done now? We had a break to reset, but we've done it's about two and a half hours later, you join me, give or take. We've had a break on the way up. The weather <laughs> the weather has been on and off man. One minute it's sunny, next minute it's raining. I need to get in the right lane, but I'm gonna let the pass first. Right now it's sunny and raining. <laughs> um yeah, it's just it's a bit weird to be honest with you, the weather is it was absolutely lashing it down earlier. I could have gone right in that lane. It was absolutely lashing it down earlier on the motorways. Um, and I get here and it's quite sunny. With a little bit of speckly rain. So yes. Anyway, we're about a mile and a half away, give or take, from the destination. I can take it. We can follow with that sign there. Industrial Estates. Well, I'm in this lane now. Never change lane on a roundabout unless you're coming off and it's all clear. You shouldn't really be changing lane even if you're coming off. <laughs> you should stay in your lane. Come around here. Yeah, you can't go around anyway. Okay, that's cool, that's cool. So yeah, um, sorry I was mumbling again then, so you probably can hear me. Do apologise. Um, yeah, we're using a, uh, a dead cat microphone, so it only really captures my voice if I'm facing this way. As soon as I move over here, it should be quieter. Right, turn right here. So yeah, uh, before we left, I was looking at the maps, um, as I do. We can make that. And um, the company itself doesn't seem to be on Google. I mean, it, it is on Google, but it's a new build on Google. Like, it, it's nothing there. <laughs> it's just uh, dust, basically. So um, I don't know exactly where the entrance is or anything like that. And normally, I'd like to research all that before I go. So uh, when I get there, there's no surprises. But we are kind of in the dark on this one. We know roughly where it is. We need to turn left, and then it should be on the right-hand side. But um, I don't actually know where the entrance is, where the HGV entrance is, if it's a different one, because sometimes you get public access and HGV access. So it's a case of just turning up, really, and hoping for the best. We're going to MKM Building Supplies. <coughs> That's where we're going. So, um, should be enough space. I could park up on the road anyway. <clears throat> I could park up on the road and have a look before I actually commit to anything, which is probably what I'm going to do anyway. But, um, yeah, we'll see. But yeah, we're nearly there. Nearly there. Okie dokie. Right, we're nearly here. I do hope... I do hope that this isn't going to make my right-hand turn difficult. Oh, that the road is closed. Oh no, don't tell me the road's closed. Okay, I saw a car go down. Oh, ho, ho. I generally thought the road was closed then. I was like, no! Four way control, just gotta wait here for these lights to turn green. Turn them right where these bedroom and, bedroom and tile showcase things are. Um, so, yeah. Yay, green light! We're here for quite a while waiting for them to turn green. Lovely, jubbly. Please don't be too tight of a turn. Uh, yeah, we'll be okay. Should be okay. Lovely, jubbly. Right, so now we go over this bridge. We uh, we went under this bridge just now before we come off. Motor point, turn right. No, that's not what I want. What do I want? KRM or something? MKM. MKM. Where are ya? You're welcome. I think we just got to go over this little river here, look, and then turn left. Just after the lights, perhaps? Maybe just before? I think it's before. Uh, what was it at? Yeah, it's out of the lights. MK, oh, there they are, look. Big old place there, look. Loads of room. Kind of. Still not sure where I've got to go, though. Uh, H3 drivers, stop. Do not drive in. Read instructions below. Hazards on. Park up safely and report to yard operative before entering premises. Failure to follow instructions will result in delays in unloading your vehicle. <laughs> In other words, if you don't do as they say, they deliberately take their time. <laughs> right, let's go let them know I'm here. Loads of room in there. 
loads of room. Happy days, happy days, happy days. Right, will you shut up? All right, see you in a bit. Right, and we are leaving. We are done. Fully empty. And on our way to our next destination, which is in Birkenhead, which is essentially in Liverpool. Come on, mate, don't just stop. Come on. So when cars go even slower, it really annoys you. <laughs> like, they slow down, and then you're actually in my way. Hurry up. <laughs> really frustrating. Um, yeah, sorry. Um, yeah, so I'm on my way to Birkenhead now. I'm going to be there about 4 o'clock. Hopefully they load me, because um, the delivery then is due in Northampton uh, for 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. So, I would, yeah, I kind of need to get loaded and, and do a little bit of driving back down south. <laughs> But yeah, so um, that's what we're that's where we're at, at the moment. So we're going to leave here now. Go get loaded. It's still a red light. <sighs> See you in about an hour and a half. Okay, you join me in Liverpool now. We're about to go under King's something tunnel. <laughs> I don't know which one it is. There's two different tunnels. One of them is 3.9 meters and free to go over, but I'm 4.0 meters, so I I won't get under that one. And the other one is um, five metres, but um, seven pound twenty to go under. <laughs> so we got to we got to pay the seven twenty to get over. Uh, yeah, five metres we can get under Kingsway Tunnel. Here it is, Kingsway Tunnel. We're nearly there. We're only like two and a bit miles away now from where we need to be, but uh, it's taking quite a while to actually get there. That rain is really coming down as well. Ah, it's a bit wet out. A bit wet out. Um, I don't know if I said where this is going. So yeah, I'm getting loaded from Liverpool, and it's going to um, Northampton basically. So I need to do a printout when I get. Um, just turn the light on. I need to do a printout when I get to um, my destination, just to find out how much driving time I've actually got left, um, and then we can go from there. Really. So, hang on. I'm in a tunnel. Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's an inside joke. That's an inside joke between me and the rest of the road legends. Yeah. <laughs> Ask Jay. Ask Jay. What? Uh, I'm in. I'm inside a tunnel. Oh, no echo. <laughs> anyway, we're going deep. We're still going diagonally down at the moment. Does my, my watch might tell me how far under we are? It does sometimes tell me. Fifteen meters at the moment above sea level. I wonder, I wonder if it does say minus. That would be pretty cool. We're now 14 metres, 11 metres. I am interested to know now where it goes into the minuses. Okay, now, now we've gone up to 28. <laughs> okay, it's broke. It's not working, it's broke. <laughs> we're, we're under the water, I can tell you that right now. So maybe it's counting up, I don't know. 23 metres under the water, maybe. I don't know. Ah, right, this is the halfway point. Look, you can see we're about to go back up now. Anyway, so we're apparently picking up some fertiliser. I think it might be bolt bags. I'm not sure. It might be pallets. It might be bolt bags. But um, they are expecting me. I would, they were told that I was going to be there between 4pm and 4.30pm. Um, and my current ETO is ten, 2 minutes to 4 now. I'm going to be there in 4 minutes. So, um, yeah bang on ETA wise basically so that's good that's good um, like I said, but then when we get loaded we need to do a print out find out how much driving time I've got left I know I can work until half eight um, and then basically just drive as far as I can on a nine hour drive no point going into a ten hour drive um, and yeah see how far we can get we might be able to get all the way there park outside the gates I'm not sure yet I like, honestly don't know how far away it is so yeah right nearly there right we're out the tunnel I guess we've got to pay now I am just basically gonna. I don't know. I was gonna say I was gonna follow that lorry, but he's going attended. Yeah, that's the one we want to go on. Attended, just in case. Let's get my card out.
don't have to pay to go back the other way, do you? Oh, do you? I don't know. It's a good job I didn't go in that one, so there's no articulated vehicles. Good job, good job. Wow, everyone's flying through. Hi, mate. There's something wrong with the van on the left hand side. There he goes. Pay by card please mate. Cheers mate, thank you very much. Yeah, I was told by Trucker J, who comes on the road quite a lot, he says, that they don't do receipts. Well, uh, yeah they do. I think he lost that out of the window then. Yeah they do mate. Oh, on my left side, let me take it. Nice. Seven pound twenty to go under a tunnel. Whatever next. Yeah, we're literally just around the corner, only two minutes away. So, uh, I looked on uh, Google Maps as I always do before I left, and it looks like there are a couple of way bridges. So I may need to go on a way bridge first. Sure. Okay, here we go. All these vehicles turn right. We're going to go straight on because we're to. Oh, I said merging into one lane thing. Okay, we'll turn right to the next one. See when you when you've never been to a, a place before, you just you just don't know. Start indicating right onto Duke Street, this right here, and that's where we're going. N W. Lots of space, by the looks of it. I might take a while to get in. Let me through, thank you very much. Right, the question is now where do we go, like I said. Everyone's got a lot of PPE in there. Way bridge. Straight over and then turn round. Drivers. There's operators mess room. Report to Waybridge office. Spin round. I'm going to assume I go on the left hand side one. I would have thought. And it looks like I go in one of them. Yeah. Right, at least we're here. Let's go and uh, speak to someone. See if we can get loaded. <laughs> I'll see you in a bit. Right, you join me. Exactly the same place we where we were when we got here. We're now loaded. Just put in my, that wasn't me farting. <laughs> that was me putting in my uh, AUX cable. Uh, this can come off now. Don't need to wear this anymore. Get the engine on. Whew. Right, do we go left or right, Javier? We go left. We go left. Right, yeah, so we are loaded. There appears to be quite a bit of traffic as well by the looks of it. Sat now for saying there's five minutes of traffic literally right outside the gates. So that's nice. <laughs> um, right, so we can work until half past eight this evening. Um, and our ETA to our actual destination is eight o'clock, so we could in theory drive straight there. Uh, driving time wise it's going to take three hours and eight minutes we, we've got three hours oh it did work out I've just thrown it away it was three hours and twenty can I find it again? yes yeah, so we've got three hours I'm pretty sure it's three hours and twenty seven I think it was um, 
so until I know for sure, I'm not going to go over three hours. Uh, and I, yeah, it does take three hours to get there, but that's going into a 10 hour drive. Or I could um, only use a nine hour drive and only do two hours driving. When we, when we stop again, I can have a look. So basically, point is, I'm not sure where I'm stopping. I could go all the way to my delivery point and park outside the gate. Um, or I might stop somewhere on the way. I'm really, really not too sure yet what I'm doing. Let's have a look. We've done 6.35, so five would be 40, 20, so it's 25, not 30, it's 25. Um, 25, we'll put up to seven, so it's eight, nine. It'll be a nine hour drive, so we've got two hours and 25 minutes, or three hours and 25 minutes, that's what I got. And I'm not gonna bin it, just in case I need to, <laughs> in case I need to look at it again. Three hour, two hours, 25. If I go over two hours, 25, I've gone into a 10 hour drive. Um, and it's three hours to the destination. So I've got to work out whether it's better to, just to stop half an hour before I get there somewhere or go half an hour into a 10 hour drive so I'm on the gate ready for tomorrow morning. I honestly don't know what one I'm going to do yet. I'm going to have to uh, make some phone calls and see what is, what is actually around nearby because I'm not 100% sure what's around. So I will speak to someone and find out. In the meantime, like I said, we are loaded. We are now going to leave Liverpool. 149 miles to go until we are at our destination. How many of those 149 miles will we actually do? Let's find out. See you in a bit. Right, okay. You join me uh, about two hours and 20 minutes later. And obviously, as you can see, it's dark out as well. I'm not even sure if you can see me, to be honest with you. Right, we want to be turning right. We're going to be stopping at um, the truck stop. What's it called? I can't remember what it's called now. <laughs> I can't remember what it's called. I've stopped, I've stopped here before. It's really nice. Really nice hot food. Um, something farm. And calf. 20 quid on snap. Come on, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Lovely. Was waiting for me then, or not? Yeah, um, yeah. So we're going to stop here for tonight. Um, like I said, it was really good. They do like beer and all sorts. <laughs> I don't know whether there's going to be anyone here waiting for me to tell me where to park. They did last time. They try and get you parked in certain areas. So just keeping an eye out for anyone wants me to park in a certain place. Could be around here. We're also very tight on driving time. I could I could quite well there's, oh, there's loads of room in that. I could quite well go into a ten hour drive if I don't know where to park up. I got five minutes I think. I'll, I'll obviously do a printout, but I think I've got 10 minutes. Oh, sorry, five minutes. I'm going to tell this bloke what time I'm leaving in the morning and he'll uh, park me in a certain place. Yeah, you're right, mate. Just after seven. Yeah. Yeah, go next to him, please, mate. Will do, bud. Yeah, I see the transporter over there. I think that's going to do. That is going to do. Whew. Right. We're going to clock off. Yeah, like I said, there is, there is one person behind me, so I might have to leave. Um, we'll be up ready for 7 o'clock. So um, that's what we do. 
Um, just got to do some paperwork. I'd like to leave the engine running a bit longer, to be honest with you, but um, people might be sleeping, so the engine's going off. Right, we're hoping that this is going to say less than nine. Ideally, we want like eight hours and fifty something. Oh, <laughs> don't know if you can see that. Hang on. Uh, literally where my thumb is, it says eight fifty eight. Eight fifty eight. Two minutes shy of a ten hour drive. I timed that pretty much perfectly. Pretty much perfectly. Right. I'm going to go get some food and drink because I am hungry, I am thirsty and I am tired. I'm going to go to bed and I'll see you in the morning. Ugh, long day, long day. Good morning everybody, welcome back. It is morning. I was very tired last night, <laughs> not going to lie. I remember parking up and I'm like, Ugh, I just want to go to sleep. I went and had some, I went and had some food though and um, Sorry, I'm just seeing what he's doing to the right of me. Trucks to the left of me, more to the right. Here I am, stuck in the middle with them. <laughs> yes, um, I was very tired last night. I went out and had some food, um, gammon and chips, brought it back to the truck, ate it. Actually, it's still here. The rubbish. Because um, I couldn't see a bin. There's probably a bin near the entrance, but it would mean having to get out. Um, if I see one, I might jump out and put it in the bin but obviously there's no bins back where I was I was right at the back so um so yeah I had the food and then I pretty much went straight to bed to be honest with you I'm not gonna lie I was very very tired so yeah went to bed and uh I must have been about nine o'clock and I literally woke up at half past six so I have had loads and loads of sleep loads of sleep so I'm ready for a nice long day today however I don't think it's actually going to be that long um we're going to go drop this off. It's about 50 minutes to where this has got to go. We'll drop this off. And then um, we'll go get reloaded, meet up with one of our colleagues, go get loaded at the same place. Um, and then we're delivering to the same place in Swindon. So that's like pretty much home for me. And then um, I'll either be heading back um, to the yard from there or doing something else. I'm not sure yet. We'll have to wait and see. So yeah, anyway, let's go get this loaded. And uh, oh, no. tip, sorry. I'll see you when uh, when we get there. See you in a bit. Every day I got your back here, you can count on me for that. So put your hand in mine, I will be there every day. When you're sick of the climb, I will make sure it's okay. I know you didn't ask for any of this, but we beat for the sky. That's the flying colors now.
join me. Yeah, we can make that. You join me in Daventry. I never knew there was a place called Daventry. It is literally just south of Coventry as well, which is pretty cool. <laughs> uh, yeah, so we're just around the corner now from where we need to tip. Uh, booking time is 8 o'clock. Our ETA is 5 to 8, and they don't open till 8 o'clock anyway, so. Mm. Yeah. Sorry, excuse me. We should we should get it straight in as soon as they open, pretty much. We'll have to wait and see. Um, but it doesn't appear to be a lot of room outside their gate, so I may I may block the entrance if it's not open. Just park up, park up outside their gate, and no one can get in. Then I'm guaranteed first in. Then, uh, but it doesn't even it doesn't look like there's anywhere to turn around either. It looks like you're gonna have to reverse back out the yard and then um, and then turn left to come back out by the looks of it not sure but this is where I was contemplating parking up anyway but I would, it would have meant going into a 10 hour drive that's the only problem so yeah a burger van probably would have, have been there anyway but um yeah there's some line there's some places look without any yellow lines couldn't park anywhere here as long as there was no double yellows I could park could have parked there for the night Not that I flashed you, and not that you said thank you. Oh, I just made the wrong turn, I supposed to go left there. <laughs> yeah, I should have gone left on that one. Not this one, never mind. Right, so it is this turn that I want. This is the one I should have gone down. Yeah, and I'm assuming at 8 o'clock at night, which is when I would have arrived, most of these cars wouldn't have been here. Or there. Do you know what I mean? Could have parked here. Just, yeah, there's quite a lot of space. But um, I decided not to go into a 10-hour drive, so, and quite rightly, because now it leaves me a second, uh, it leaves me a spare 10-hour drive if I need it. I was lucky, though. 9 hours, no, 8 hours 58, wasn't it, I went into? Close. Right, there's literally the place right in front of us. Right in front. But it looks like there's nowhere to spin around in there, so you've got to reverse back out. And then there's a turning on the left here. And I think you can turn left and get out that way. So I think I'll be reversing back and then just spin out on there. Or they might get me to reverse in and do it that way, I don't know. All I know is I'm going right up to the gate because I want to. Omega Sciences. That's who we want. That's who we want. There are people in there because the padlock off the gate is off. Oh, there's a phone number for me to call. Right, I'm going to call the phone number. See you in a bit. Right, unfortunately, my GoPro just died. <laughs> I just changed the battery over. But uh, we're still just around the corner from where we just were. You're not coming down here, are you? No. I was going to say, that would have been stupid to start coming down here while I was here. <laughs> right. Yeah, so we're on our way now. We're going to go to Leighton Buzzard. That's where we're getting loaded from. Can we get out of here? That's the question. Can we get out of here? He's indicating the right. Okay, here we go. Excellente. Yeah, so now we've got to go meet up with one of our colleagues, go get loaded with roof tiles according to the paperwork, uh, and then take that somewhere in Swindon. Don't actually know where in Swindon it's going yet. Probably a roof tile place. <laughs> There's a, there, is, there is a couple of roof tile places in Swindon, so uh, yeah, probably one of them. So yes, so I'm gonna get crack a lack in, make a couple of phone calls, to, uh, arrange like when we're gonna get them stuff, because we need to meet up at the same time, I need some straps off of them. So uh, that's what we're gonna do. Right, see you in a bit. Okay, you join me just around the corner from where we are, from where we need to be. Our colleague's already in there, he's been in there for about half an hour, so we should be almost loaded by the time we turn up. And uh, just got to get a couple of straps off him, because I'm a, a couple short, and he's got loads. And uh, then we're going to the same place in Swindon, I believe it's going somewhere near Dorkin, which is like uh, near Daff, 
and Scania. So, um, yeah. And then, don't know what we're going to do from there. It's going to be about 12 o'clock. By the time I'm there. It's a bit early in the day to be finishing. So I expect I'm going to have to go and do something else somewhere. But uh, we will see. Come down here. Build something out down there, look, on the left. Right, I think we're looking for, is it 42, I think we're looking for. Boss Avenue we need to go to. Boss Avenue. That black that black lorry's now probably just got in front of me. <laughs> Okey dokey, oh yeah look you can see him. For Forty Crete, that's it. Forty two. Forty Crete. Doing? Is he stopped? Is he or uh, this is annoying now? Because there's a truck in front of him as well. You go to Forty Creek. Yeah. yeah. All right, mate. No worries, mate. Typical when you're in a football hurry. Yeah. <laughs> right. So yeah, that is the queue for Forty Creek. Not good. Not what we want. I was on the phone to my colleague when he when he got here. He went straight in, and uh, he was the only one there. Now I'm behind three people. Right, not what we wanted. Never mind. Right, I guess I'll see you in a bit. Ciao for now. Okay, we're loaded. We've got 20 pallets of slate on. It's quite a heavy load. Fully strapped up. And uh, yeah, I just had to borrow a couple of straps off my colleague just so, uh, so I had enough straps. It turns out uh, I didn't need them anyway because I've only got 20 pallets on and not 22 pallets. So uh, yeah, I had enough in the end. Happy days. He's already gone. He's well ahead of me. <laughs> well, I say well ahead. He's probably half an hour, 40 minutes in front of me. But and uh, yeah, it's a good two-hour drive now to where we've got to go. Yeah, two hours. Got, a, got enough driving time. I've had a break in there. Because, uh, like I said, there was a queue to get in one there. So, yeah, we got in. That black truck that was in front of me, he <laughs> he was very, very kind in the sense that um, when I reversed back, he got out of his truck and he said, uh, you're in a rush today, mate. I said, well, I said, I'm not really in a rush, mate. No, to be honest with you. I said, I mean, obviously, I want to get get it off as soon as possible but I'm not in a rush he goes all oh, right he goes well I ain't getting this delivered today anyway because it's got to go up to Blackburn or something um do you want to jump in front <laughs> I was like really I was like yeah go on then mate I said yeah I'm not really in a rush but yeah go on then so he let me in front and then he uh probably shouldn't say this just in case his employer's watching but he let he let the truck behind me past him as well and then uh, the funny thing is he got loaded he eventually got in, he got loaded, and he only had four pallets. And he, so, he, although he let two trucks in, he um, he was uh, in and out before I was anyway. So, <laughs> so yeah, happy days. Happy days for him. Anyway, so, two-hour drive to Swindon. Let's get crack back in. See you in a bit. Right. We are here. Oh, it's a bit too sharp. My colleague's already in there, and he said there's nowhere to turn around. So, um, he's driven in. He's going to have to reverse out. But I'm going to reverse in. I park on the side of the road. Lovely doubly. There's a car coming down, so I'm just going to budge over to the right. Show my intentions. There we go. I'm just going to pass now. And we're uh, we're off double yellows as well if we come up here. Look. Yeah, 
so perfectly legal to park here. Excellent. Yeah, so all we've got to do is wait for my mate to come out. He's going to have to reverse out. I'm probably going to have to follow him out, um, help him out. And then we've just got to reverse back a bit more and get on in. Happy days. Right, let's get this off. And then we've got to go get reloaded um, from Tetbury uh, with some more bolt bags. And I think I think that's going back to Burnsley, where we uh, where we were earlier. I do apologise if the audio's been crap for a while. Hopefully that's been all right. Right, see you in a bit. Right, our colleague has gone. It's our turn to go in. Hazard's on. We've got to reverse all the way back. Lovely jubbly. We've got to miss these uh, these vehicles here. I'll do a slight kink to the left without hitting anything. <laughs> back and move to the left a little bit. Again, without hitting anything. off see in a bit. Hokey dokey! Oh, just pressed the on by accident. We are done. We're offloaded and we're done for the day. We've got to, well, we've got to go and now uh, load up for tomorrow uh, and then I'll be going home. But uh, yeah, as far as today is concerned, I am finished. <laughs> so I'm just going to get out of here a second because it's the tightest but uh, it's not, not loads of room either. There's a car either well, a car one side, lorry the other side. Um, there we go, happy days, we're past it. Yeah, we're past it, there we go. Before we get on the main road I will just put my seatbelt on. There we go. Right, we're good to go now. <laughs> right, anyway, so yes, that is it for today's video. Thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. What was that? Yeah, I do appreciate it. Thanks for watching. And uh, yeah, stay tuned and who knows what's going to happen on the next video. Who knows? <laughs> right, thanks for watching. Until next time, drive safe, stay safe. Hi, right, we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.